Well, after fiddling around and getting ready to actually pack to go on a trip, looking at some forums on the uh, EDC forums, kind of got me thinking to reevaluate more of a, uh, a travel first aid kit as opposed to my pocket first aid kit or my EDC fact that I carry around. So uh, the, the thread that got me thinking was someone talking about going on a camping trip and what stuff they would need with them. So I kind of, I, I always kind of have a tendency to overkill, so I went a lot bigger compared to my EDC fact. But this is still, you know, not bad if you're going to throw it inside. It's not real heavy. It's still not bad if you're going to throw it inside like a rucksack. Or, uh, you know, this is going to go in a suitcase with me and the family down at the beach next week. So, what I have here is a Storm Tracker Large Uni Kit. Um, for those of you that aren't aware of Storm Tracker, if you go to the EDC forums, uh, you can find a link on there somewhere. Uh, I can't think of the name of the, his website, but I'll make sure I put it in the notes down below. He's uh, just a private guy, builds, uh, builds bags out of his basement. And he does phenomenal quality work. This is very good. Takes a little time to get it, but you know, you're paying for American made, top notch quality uh, equipment here. So, of course, I have the uh, requisite red paracord to signify a first aid kit. This little, um, it's kind of like a Grimlock carabiner, it's a little small plastic carabiner was on the inside. I moved it to the outside, so I had no need for it in there, so didn't want to get rid of it. Um, just real quick about the pouch, it's in coyote tan, got a nice big velcro field on the front. One of these days I'll see if I can get myself one of them large red cross uh, insignia to put on here. The back is entirely molly webbing, um, if you were to attach it to something it's great for that. Uh, what I did is I just, I just tucked a little Pelican uh, quadruple A flashlight in here. Um, you know, I like this flashlight. The only problem being the the four trip or the four A battery, not something that is uh, very common. So I don't like to keep it with any of my uh, normal carry gear. So let me open it up. Let's take a look inside. All right. So amazing how much stuff you could pack in this little pouch. Uh, one thing's uh, another thing I like about his work. Um, with the Storm Tracker, I told him I want to hide this lining, so he put in a nice, like, uh, probably 500 denier cordura on the inside for the uh, lining instead of just uh, the heavier weight cordura, but it's great that, that we get high visibility, get some contrast. So, real quick off the top of the bat, you can get to everything real quick. There's nothing you have to open to get into anything else. Everything's open access, which I love. Um, this little uh, grommet was uh, something else I added an additional. When I first started using this for like an EDC pouch, I added it for something else. Switched this to my new fax, so didn't need it, but this one be in just a good place to clip a little well, CPR pocket shield. You never know, it's always good to have. Um, so we'll go down the road here. Just have some spray sanitizer, always good to have that. And then some triple antibiotic ointment. This is just Target brand, but it's, you know, does the job. Some chapstick and some uh, Benadryl, like roll on. You just, uh, for bug bites or anything like that, you just roll this on. I know one of the uh, kids that's going with us in the other family has really bad reactions to bug bites. So I may see that used for there. And here I've got tucked in some nail clippers, set of tweezers, and then on the end I just uh, threw some, uh, what you call it, safety pins, just to uh, have, have them floating around while I was putting this together, so I figured I'd throw them in here, it's a good thing to have. Now, a lot of people wonder, well, why are you going to bother having a little bottle of uh, irrigation solution? Now, you know, it fits in here amazingly enough, 250 milliliter bottle of sterile water, um, it fits right in here with no problems. This, this is what gives this thing any weight, if anything, but I'd rather have it just in case. And then I kind of didn't have a good place to put this ace bandage by the time I tucked everything in. Again, it was something I had laying around I thought about putting in, and it actually fits right in there. I just kind of kind of secured it with a little core lock, core lock and some uh, 550 cord. Continuing up, just some good old band-aids. And a lighter again to go with maybe the safety pins. If the tweezers don't get it, if I get a splinter, I got to deal with. I do have some rubber gloves. Um, you know, in, in some discussions on the forum, 
For the family, do you really need rubber gloves? Probably not. But you never know what you're going to come across, something that you may want to put some gloves on. And I say rubber, like, let me take that back. They're nitrile gloves. They're not latex or anything. They're nitrile, so that's the, the latest, greatest thing. Again, I got the space in here, and I have a bunch of these sterile water. Uh, it's just saline flushes. It's normally for IVs. I just got these off the medic unit. And again, to clean a wound out, it comes with a little plastic uh, needle that can give you a little uh, focus stream. So I have a couple of them tucked into here. And next pouch up, I have some Tegaderms. Tegaderms are real nice. They are a clear, like a waterproof almost. Not completely waterproof, but it do a good job of covering stuff up. Um, if you have a, a cut on uh, somewhere that's in an awkward spot, it sticks really well. It's basically one just big, flat uh, piece of adhesive. Man. I just have a bunch of them. They take up very little space, so they just sit right in here. I have some tape. Um, not the best roll to have. It takes. A, it's a little bulky, but it's good, heavy-duty, waterproof tape. I'd rather have. You know, I'll take up the the roll to have that uh, good quality tape with me. Where are my EMT shears? Well, I don't have them. I have some really good titanium scissors. I got a two-pack of these at BJ's for nine dollars. These scissors are phenomenal. They're not like EMT shears, they're not going to cut through zippers or anything like that, but as a good pair of high quality scissors, this is a great buy. I had a little shingle here that was for EMT shears um, to mount on, uh, on any sort of gear, so that keeps the point protected in there. Um, I had another pair of uh, EMT gloves, or uh, nitro gloves tucked in there. And in here, I have a bunch of triangle bandages. There's three in here total. Again, I have the space. Might as well have something that can be useful like that. Triangle bandages, uh, definitely a multitasker. You can do a lot of stuff with them. Coming back across here. These here are 10 packs of sponges. 10 4x4s in each one of these packs. Vacuum sealed down. Amazing the amount of space you save by doing this. So, if I, you know, there any, any sort of serious bleeding, I would grab a pack of sponges first because I know I'm going to need uh, multiple dressings to stem some blood flow. Some four inch cling, again, vacuum packed. I have two of these in this little pouch. It takes up a lot less room by vacuum packing. Great thing, thanks to USNER Doc. That's a big clue that I've taken from him. And then I got tucked in here a whole rack of alcohol wipes. Um, again, you know, not so much for cleaning out wounds, but for sterilization. Actually really good on uh, bug bites and stuff. Um, that definitely uh, soothe that, that sort of thing. And in here, and then I just have some regular full rep wars. Um, and and this, this does take up some space. It's a little bulky. But again, if I just need one 4x4, four four, you know, this is kind of easy for me to have in here. And I have some spare batteries uh, for the flashlight. Again, I love the flashlight, hate the batteries just because it's, an, it's a strange size to find. Once I find some, um, you know, yeah, I kind of bulked up on them, and that's why I keep some spares in here. Again, because this pouch is so great and so big, I could tuck them in here, it's not a big loss of space. And then finally, my medicine pack. Um, I have a card that's laminated and printed out in here with all the basic uh, medicines. Now again, I got kids with me, so I have kids versions of medicine also. Um, and then I have the uh, regular adult and kids doses on here. Each uh, types of medicine. Some are still in their blister packs. Well, other ones I just put in small little Ziploc baggies and I've labeled all the baggies individually. So that is my new travel first aid kit. This will be again going with me to the beach for the week. Heading down to Nags Head, looking forward to that, our annual vacation. And uh, again, when, we, uh, when camping picks up back again in the fall, this will be going with me on that. Thanks for watching.